Welcome back, everyone, to another Midday Monologue Monday. As you know, I'm your buddy, Big Johnny G, and this is the Two Gun Pixie Fall Catalog. Fall yeah. or autumn? Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't hear autumn yeah. used a lot yeah. anymore. So, this is the autumn catalog. There you go. <laughs> so, we are uh, basically going to be talking about topics and titles that uh, I've already filmed, mostly, almost all, actually, uh, obviously, besides the live playthroughs and the live comment videos. Uh, so we're going to talk about some of these titles and topics that are going to be hitting our channel for the next three months. All right, so thank you for joining me here, and let's get down to the table and start talking about this. We are. All right. So, uh, yeah, first thing I want to talk about is topics. Actually, no, the first thing I want to mention is that although I do have a full week for every week for the next three months, plus a little bit, right now, I, I just want to talk about the topics and the titles. And when I say topics, I mainly mean the Midday Monologue Mondays. Uh, the Tuesdays that I have are uh, going to be shifting around, depending on new material that comes in. But uh, most of my Mondays are pretty much set. I, I don't see any change in these. Same thing, uh, more or less, with the unboxings for the titles part of this coming up. Um, I, I pretty much know what's coming in. There's not really going to be a lot of surprises over the next uh, three months. So uh, that's cool to talk about. And talking about the titles... We'll just lead into discussing some of the live playthroughs that I'm looking forward to doing uh, and some of them continuing. So why don't we start, like I said, with the topics. So I do love the Midday Monologue Mondays because you never know what the hell I'm going to talk about. Hell, sometimes I don't know what I'm going to talk about until I put the camera on and then I film something uh, and then I realize, okay, that's <laughs> that's my topic. But there are some, some things I do regularly, uh, like my building series. Uh, no, it has nothing to do with architecture, per se. It's about building a board game collection. And uh, this time I have coming up uh, sort of my own take on if you are a fan of or if you are looking forward to building your own hidden trader games, uh, I have some really, what I think, very cool suggestions for you uh, that'll take it past the the common mafia werewolf games so check out some of those now i also want to talk about especially since it's getting into you know october halloween the dark side of things uh, i want to talk about games that are for 18 and older and not just games that are actually for 18 and older there's a couple of games that i'm going to be talking about in that that skirt even though uh it doesn't actually say 18 one of them is 17 and i think at least one on the list if i remember this <laughs> filmed a few months ago was uh 14 but it's added in because of the topics because of the material uh that the game covers that it almost feels like uh i i, I can understand if some people would think that it should be an 18 and older game so these are the titles i want to talk about uh and and are they needed you know do we really need a game with, with that much uh, uh, adultness <laughs> in it? Well, well, we'll talk about that. But I also want to talk about games that literally cross the bloody line. Games that, if they exist, this is on a person-to-person -person, uh, attitude, I guess. Uh, but but uh, can, can a board game actually cross the line? Can you hear about a board game, see a board game, play a board game, experience one, and, and either during or afterwards think to yourself, that just went too far? Well, I think there may be a few, and we're going to be talking about that. Also, one of my favorite games, actually, one of my favorite series or lines of games that I really enjoy playing, and I've, I've done a ton of it here with live playthroughs on the channel, uh, and that's the Dungeons & Dragons cooperative adventure system games and i i really have to talk about them and specifically the topic is uh are there any young ones out there watching the video cover their ears for this one uh because the name of the title is quite honestly D D fix your shit 
because it's true. There's uh, there's a few aspects that I really think need to be addressed, especially now that the system has become so large. There are so many components to the game. Yes, yes. Besides the module, uh, the Salt Marsh module, module. Uh, the rest of them all are completely interchangeable. Well, that is too, but it doesn't have as much to offer other than just the adventure. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. You'll you'll see everything I have to say. See, you'll see everything I have to say <laughs> in that video. Uh, oh yeah, so there's another topic I wanted to talk about. Uh, I decided to call app-driven crit hits, and uh, I'm not talking about games that are specifically just app games. You know, like. Uh, Angry Birds or something like that. No, no. I'm talking about board games that either require that you have to use an app for it or that it's uh, it's not needed, but it can add to the experience of the game. And some of these are fantastic. And I, I put off getting into this aspect of board gaming for a while. The whole app-driven and needing a, you know, a, a tablet or something to help you play it. Uh, but now, now, well, you're going to have to watch the video to see what I think now. <laughs> there is uh, really just one other thing before before we get to the Two Gun Pixie Winter Catalog 22-23. The only other thing I have to do before this year ends out, and I guarantee you I will, put it off so long I decided to wait to the end of the year. And that is the State of the Shelf Q4. 2022 so we're gonna see uh, and i think this works out good because the first one was what a couple of months into the beginning of the year and you got to see everything before i fixed it up and lately you've been seeing the new in the background but now now at the end of the year and uh two last things finally happened i'm ready to uh do the, the tour of of the the game room here of the nerd wasteland and you get to see uh, how i set up everything and how i'm already planning that things are going to need to change evolve a little bit over the next uh two years i give it <laughs> we'll see how that all works out so those are the topics that i want to bring forward uh well i'm going to bring forward i already filmed them and, and edited them and, and dropped them in the in the queue so to speak just waiting for for their due date to be delivered uh so that's not really going to change so you're stuck with those <laughs> but now i do have a lot of new titles coming in like one a week you know that it's been doing one a week for three and a half just about four years now wow <sighs> mind-blowing uh you know when you're doing something for fun time really just flies the hell by but let's uh let's jump into the titles that we have coming in that I know of that I know of for sure that could always be a surprise. Uh, that's why it's called a surprise, right? I don't know. But uh, why don't we go check that out? All right, yeah, we uh, we do have a series of titles coming in now. You know that since October is uh, right around that corner, that the uh, there's going to be a few Octoberish Octobery. <laughs> style board games coming up now i got three tiles coming in from twilight creation uh this company does a lot of great horror games and they've been a staple i think in the gaming community for for a while now with uh, some of the titles uh which i'm going to be bringing forward here i don't want to quite give away everything i don't know if i should because then that kind of defeats the purpose of the question what's in the pixies box <laughs> right but i'll tell you the companies so besides that, we have, uh, we have at least one title coming in from Ravensburger that I want to unbox. Well, I already have unboxed and filmed and uh, let everyone see. I've been having so much fun with this company lately over the last few years. I think I discovered them about two, three years ago. And uh, since then, I've just uh, been amazed at the great games, the quality of games, uh, and component-wise, as well as uh, how the games are written. Really great. Thank you for everything, Ravensburger. Uh, well, I don't mean for me personally. They don't do anything for me personally. I mean, but as a company making these great games for all of us to play, it's extremely cool. Uh, laboratory Games. I don't know. Maybe they pronounce it Laboratory. But I like to say Laboratory Games. This is going to be a fun, light, dark game that uh, I have coming out that is perfect for Halloween time. So if you're if you're looking for some good Halloween examples, I mean, they've already started 
right? Uh, November, we've already been seeing some Halloweeny things, and that's going to continue. But uh, I really, I really love some of these titles. Uh, Space Cowboys, Space Cowboys. We have a title coming in from them that's uh, going to be a trip across this country. Uh, I, I have one or two other titles by them, so I don't know that company that well. But uh, well enough that I've enjoyed what I've played by them so far. Uh, Ares Games. We got a title by Ares Games that I've been really looking forward to getting to the table and playing, especially since it has a one-player option if that's needed. All right. And this is a dark game that really most of the action takes place at night. And that's for a very important reason. Um, but there's not a lot of games on the market that cover this subject, this, uh, this, uh, this genre. I guess I would say. If this was a novel, I would definitely say this genre. It's not covered in in enough board games, I think. So having this is uh, fantastic. But I do have a few more, like Plaid Hat Games. I, I love the company. Everything I've played by Plaid Hat Games has, has, has taken me on a great tabletop adventure. And uh, this title, I hope to get to the table sometime soon. It's not a soloable, soloable game. <laughs> Unless there's some errata online that I have yet to look for, so therefore cannot have found. But it is arduous work, and I am going to work through the wee hours of the night, even through a thunderstorm if I have to, uh, to make sure I'm uh, going to get a chance to play this game by Plaid Hat Games. Cryptozoic Entertainment is another title that I'm going to be busting out. And uh, I've had fun with their tiles before. I really enjoy them. Uh, most of the time, they're a little, a little fun, like tongue-in-cheek kind of fun. You know what I mean? And you know that's a, that's that's a nice breath of fresh air after some of the heavier, uh, heavier games. So I, I like that, and I'm looking forward to those as well. Fantasy Flight Games. I can't get away from that company. Uh, I, I must have more board gaming products by them than anyone else. Uh, and it's going to keep growing. So I know that uh, that unless something changes and uh, mutates into something weird in my life, I am probably going to be buying them till the grave. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited about this. I've been looking forward to, to, to this title by them that they have coming out. Um, also Hasbro. Oh yeah, Hasbro. Uh, it's not a title that you see a lot around this channel, but it's a well-known company that's been around forever. Uh, so, yeah, I got an unboxing for them uh, that is, uh, well, I'm talking about shooting for the stars, right? And uh, I'm so happy to have this. It was something I used to have years ago, and now I've reacquired it. Nice. Awesome. Uh, Looney Labs. <laughs> Looney Labs has some great fun titles. And, uh, well, to give you an even bigger hint, yeah, this does have something to do with their Flux series. Uh, and and that's, that's all I'll say. Uh, I'll let you... Ponder what it could be in the many, 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 many different Flux games that they do have. But we're getting to add one here to uh, the Nerd Wasteland. And I'm really happy about that. Now, there's a couple of mystery boxes uh, that just came in. And uh, I'm going to be really looking forward to checking out what this is. These have not been unboxed yet. They will be uh, shortly. <laughs> so that's going to be a lot of fun. And the last thing... I believe it's going to be pushing it in here is uh, from Tesseract Games. And this is a company I've recently gotten into over the last few years, and I'm so happy that they're around. So those are the titles that are coming in, and uh, I'm expecting to play still a lot more of the regulars. You know, I want to do uh, more of the Hero Quest. I'm almost done with the main quest book, and I, I'm so excited to move on uh, to uh, Keller's Keep. And uh, and then the, the, the Return of the Witch King and, and, and the rest of them after that. Oh, this has been so much fun. Of course, more Marvel Champions. I can't stop playing that game. Now, I've had some problems with Dark Tower. Now, what I mean with that is not the tower, not the electronics. That's all fine and still works beautifully. But as far as uh, table space and, and, and filming, it's, it's just a little bit of a hassle. But next year, this is getting ahead of ourselves, but next year, I'm hoping that that will be solved because uh, I ordered something on Kickstarter, which uh, I believe next week you'll actually see on a Thursday here. That's being squeezed into the schedule. It was unexpected. Uh, but I'm hoping that, that what I'm doing is going to help me with my filming of certain things like the Dark Tower game. And also, 
I'm going to just love the way it looks, and the 20 Sided Warriors are going to be absolutely crazy about it. Uh, but yeah, uh, what else is there going to be regularly? You know, there's more of the uh, the Dungeon Dragons Adventure System, even though I say they need to fix something. Uh, there's still more of that. I want to finish getting through Castle Ravenloft. And then I want to want to put together a new team to, to tackle Salt Marsh. I'm not sure what kind of team I want to put together. Um, but yeah, what else is coming in? So uh, uh, finally, uh, uh, Arceus should be coming in. So that will be on the gaming list as well coming up. Uh, hopefully by the end of the year. That's it. That's a, that's a good overview of uh, the next three months with a little bit of bonus about next year thrown in. Uh, I, I hope that you're as excited as I am. I love doing this. This is a, such a fun channel to be a part of. I say a part of it. It's my own damn channel. Of course, if, if I'm not a part of my own channel, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> this is. And uh, a lot of that fun has to do with, with my regulars. And uh, please, if you're ever watching a video, uh, especially a live playthrough, Join the party! I love I love talking to everyone while I'm playing these games, even if it does distract me from the game and I end up losing. I don't care. I'm here to have fun. Aren't you? <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, everyone. I'm your buddy, Big John at G for Two Gun Pixel Presents. <laughs> Legendary Gaming and I am...